Let's look at how to subtract compound fractions. A compound fraction is just uh, another term for a mixed number. A lot of books use mixed number. And what that means is when you have a units part and then a fractional part as well. So this is called a mixed number. Mixed because it has a fraction and an integer part or a whole, whole number part, also called a compound fraction. So if we want to subtract two and a quarter minus uh, one and two ninths, okay? What we would do is we need to turn both of these mixed numbers or compound fractions, we need to turn both those into improper, just meaning we need to turn the whole thing into a fraction. So we go like this. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine fourths. So this mixed number as an improper fraction is nine fourths. Again, the trick was this times that plus this is the top and the bottom stays. Minus nine times one is nine, minus two is 11 ninths. Now those are not common terms. We don't have a common denominator. So we need to get a common denominator. The common denominator is gonna be 36. So we need to say, what do we need to multiply four by to get 36? The answer is nine. So we do the same to the top. It gives me 81 over 36. What do we need to multiply nine by to get 36? The answer is four. So we do the same on the top. It gives me 44. So final answer of this number minus that number, 81 minus 44 is 37 over 36. Now that is an improper fraction. It means the top is bigger than the bottom. It means it's more than one represented as a fraction. So a lot of times teachers like you to simplify that. So we'll do that. If you take 36 out of 36 out of this, it leaves you with one on top. So our final answer back in a mixed number form or a compound fraction form is one and one thirty-sixth.